Christmas cold and snowy Christmas night A little boy gazed at the twinkling lights Dreaming of the magic that he knew would come Singing carols softly over fun Hi, today I want to show you my new workflow for One 2.2 S2V. I've got a recent video showing how to do that. And today I want to show you my modified workflow. First of all, let's go to Comfy UI. And you can find the original workflow from Browse Template. Search for S2V and you will find this here. And this is the workflow. Basically, you got Here's a few case sampler and each one will process 77 frames and it depends on your input video how long you want to do that and you have to set the batch size accordingly and you have to disable or enable the node here. So that was very tedious because I have been using it for a lot and playing around with different lengths and every time I have to change this and that. So my new workflow should fix this. So let's have a look in my modified version. You can see the case sampler is here. And I'm only using one extend node. And I use the loop to run this multiple times. Today I'm not going to explain how this loop works. Maybe I will do a, a separate video showing how to use the loop in Comfy UI. I just want to show you how to use my workflow here. I try to make it easy if you want to experiment with different size of image and audio duration. So first of all, we need to crop the input image because I'm using 8 gig of VRAM. So I need to make it as small as possible and the face as large as possible. So let's say I run this here. Then you will see the crop image here. This is the input image. And then I need to specify the size of the output image. And the width of the image will be calculated based on the aspect ratio of this image. Every time you only need to change one value. If you run out of memory, you have to make it smaller. And here is the frame rate and also the chunk, which was defined in here. It was fixed with 77. And every time you run through this, it will run 77 frames for each extend node. So in this case, you will see it here. This is the input of the chunk. Unlike the original one, it was fixed to 77. I use a calculation. If it's the last chunk, then I will use the remaining number of frames. So the last chunk will be smaller to save time. Although it's stating here that it needs 77 to run, but I couldn't see the difference. Let me show you the video you have seen in the intro. So this is the video. On the left hand side, it's the one with the fixed value of 77 in the chunk. This one is based on the actual frame count. So the last chunk will be smaller. Before I show you the video, I want you to pay attention in this one. You will see this one stop as soon as the audio stop. And this one still play a little bit. So let me sing the preview. Christmas cold and snowy Christmas night A little boy gazed at the twinkling lights Dreaming of the magic that he knew would come Singing carols softly over fun Santa, oh Santa, where could you be?
Okay, you can see on the right hand side here, it just stopped and the other ones were still playing. But in general, I couldn't see any difference in the quality. This video on the right hand side was uh, generated with the actual number of frames. I've said around 90 seconds of generation time. If you still want to use a fixed value in the chunk, then you still can go to the workflow here and change it. This is the calculated value, you go to here. And this one is the chunk length. And you just connect this one to here. That's how you make it using the fixed number in the chunk. But I don't want to do that. So if you use this workflow, technically you can adjust the length by specify the audio duration here. And you can make it very long. But unfortunately, as you have seen on my intro video, you might have noticed that the color is fading after 15 seconds. So if you like go through like this, this is still okay. And then from here on, then you see the color has faded. But anyway, it's better than nothing. So that's the price we have to pay with the low RAM. Maybe if we have more RAM, we can make the resolution higher. Maybe the result will be better. I'm not too sure. Okay, for the demonstration, I'm going to use the Christmas song again. I will put a link for the full song in the description. This is already set the offset in 18.5. Let's say 19 is the audio length. And one more thing I want to let you know is this one need at least five seconds because it has to go through the case sampler here to generate the first 77 frames then go into the loop here let's see how it goes okay it's done let's have a look 910 seconds so it's about a uh, 15 minutes and I want to show you here these are four steps uh, each iteration took about 46 seconds 49 48 and this is the last chunk and it's a smaller so you will see the last iteration will be faster each uh, step that's what I show you in the loop the last chunk will be calculated in order to save a little bit time. I just want to let you know this workflow doesn't improve the quality, but just make it easier for you to playing around. So if you want to change the size of the input image and the output image here, most importantly, if you keep everything the same and want to change the audio, you just change the audio, change the duration here without calculating the number of frames and changing the note here. Now I'm going to play the result at the end of this video. If you like my Christmas song, you can check out the full version in the video description. I hope you start having a little bit Christmas atmosphere. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Watch, or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.